If you've seen my videos before, you know that I don't make mistakes. I've never made mistakes, and I've always been absolutely perfect. From the day I first came out of the womb, no errors were made. I was, I was great from day one, and never in my life did I have any problems whatsoever. Everything I did, I accomplished with 100% success. And so, I could keep that narrative going, I could keep making it look like that's still the case, but sadly I am actually breaking that streak and admitting it on camera. My first ever blunder. This is, is the story of how I accidentally threw a Cresta Gecko in the trash can. <laughs> and how I'm gonna make an entire video on it. So, Emerald Scales, you've heard the name before, probably, because I, I say it all the time. It's a site that I um, co-created and now own. I'm not very good at selling stuff, I guess. It's a site. Emerald Scales is a site. Um, and we take in rehab and rehome reptiles, and something that we always hinted at doing maybe was breeding. But it was just always kind of put off. There were always so many animals coming in. Never really got to. I ended up losing interest in breeding because besides, there were so many animals that needed new homes anyway. And it was just always put on the back burner. And when I say we, people get confused because it's like, who who else? You're the only one in the videos. Um, well, I've had employees. They've, they've come and go. I've had different contractors that work and help me out. And um, that's still the case. So we, it's not just me doing everything. I have help. And uh, one of the people, Alice, who's also my girlfriend before getting hired, decided that she kind of wanted to breed some of the Cresties that we had because we had some very healthy ones. She actually likes Cresties for some reason. I don't I don't know, it's one of her worst qualities. Yeah, it was healthy ones from healthy backgrounds, no issues, no problems. They would be perfectly fine to breed. They were also some kind of cool morphs. I don't know what the morphs are because I don't know Cresta Gecko morphs. And so I was like, yeah, well, why not? And throw them together. So she was prepared. She did all the research, knows how to breed them, and um, put them together. But obviously, this was a gecko that we hadn't bred before. It was the first time. And lots of animals like geckos. I was going to say especially the females. Only the females lay eggs. Sometimes they're simply infertile. They don't have to be paired with another animal and mate to produce an egg, just like chickens, same thing. And so when it comes to incubating crusty eggs, it's actually super simple because they can incubate at room temperature, which is really just easy, convenient, uh, no need to worry about anything crazy, no incubators to buy, stuff like that. It's why they're probably just everywhere because they're so easy to produce, or so I thought. Because the first one, like I said, they were infertile. And so we put them in a container, it was it was in there, it was the right humidity and stuff, and we would just monitor it. But it ended up turning a little green and molding soon after, and I ended up opening it up, and it turns out it was just an infertile egg. This actually happened multiple times. Uh, I think normally they lay them in pairs of two, and it was just the same thing. They were consistently infertile. It looked like the male and female maybe didn't even mate or have interest in each other, but it doesn't hurt to go ahead and put them in a container anyway, because it doesn't take up much space or time or money, just in case they did actually mate and and I hadn't noticed. And so then she actually laid an individual single egg, and so there are already two that weren't looking too good, but I was keeping in there anyway to be safe. Uh, and then I put this other one in there as well, so there were three total. The other two, same thing. They just got old, rotted, double checked them, still infertile somehow. It was weird. And so I, I just left them in the tub. I didn't bother throwing them away or anything. Um, there was still the third one in there, so I was just gonna wait for that one to go bad. I didn't really care. I was willing to just give up. It wasn't really an important project to me, and Alice was still doing it, but it wasn't really on the forefront of our projects because we were just focused on other stuff. And so yeah, I kind of just ignored the tub for a while, and then eventually I came back like a week later, checked the tub, and the third egg looked different and bad, but a, a different sort of bad. It looked kind of old, it was a little discolored, and there was also some sort of hole in it. So I opened it and poked it, and bugs actually came out. They were eating the the yolk inside the egg, and I was like, ew, that's kind of gross. The last three eggs all failed, all infertile. Somehow the bugs got in the enclosure, ate the yolk. Now it's just an empty shell of an egg, so I might as well give up now. So I just took the container and just placed it in the trash because, I mean, whatever. Um, and then, for some reason, I looked at it in the trash and was like, maybe I also want this container. Because it's kind of a, it's just a quality little plastic container, maybe a water bowl for another animal. Why waste it? Maybe I can recycle it even. So I took it back out and I turned it over and I saw a little a little brown something. I was like, wait, what's that? And I opened it up and it was the tail of a Cresta Gecko. Attached to that tail was the body of a Cresta Gecko. <laughs> uh, and he's right here. This little man or woman is the Crested Gecko that 
I threw in the trash. It turns out the last egg was actually fertile. She laid a single fertile egg, which I mean, I'm sure it's not the most rare thing ever, but normally again, I'm used to seeing gecko eggs in pairs. And it turns out this guy was hanging out in the tub for a couple, couple days, I assume, because he actually made his way out of the egg and then got under the paper towel that was in the tub and then eventually bugs noticed that that egg was open and had food in it that they could eat. He can jump really far. He just jumped like 15 times his body length. He's fine. They actually jumped back in the enclosure. Um, <laughs> and he was in there. And that was the moment where I was like, I think I need new pants. I just almost kind of directly killed a crested gecko. I, I literally put it in a trash bag. I didn't tie it, I just put it in. But it was at that moment where I got the visions of like imagining this little baby Cresta Gecko just being incinerated at the dump. And I was like, oh dear God. It's like when you regret something, but it didn't actually happen yet. You all know the feeling that's happened before. Like maybe you're driving and you like almost make a really bad maneuver and you like imagine what could have happened. Yeah, that's what I was imagining with this. Believe it or not, even if I hate Cresta, even if I dislike, even if I am neutral, even if I only barely like Cresta Geckos, it might be hard to believe, but I don't really want them to die. It's pretty crazy. I even surprised myself. I was like, wow, I have a soul. I don't want this crusty to die. Moral of this story, I guess, is check your crusty gecko incubator before you throw it away out of frustration because your project has been failing for months, even though you didn't actually really want crusty geckos, but it was like Alice proposed it anyway and was like, well, why not? It doesn't take any effort. Maybe it'll make some extra cash because you can put it on the site and someone will enjoy a brand new crusty gecko. And here we are now, baby crusty. I didn't have a script for this video. This is this is all I had in mind. I was like, well, I'll tell the story of throwing it away. I, if it were me, I would just go ahead and sell the crusty once it's a little bigger and we're certain that it's happy and healthy. But I'd probably have to pry it from Alice's cold dead hands. Baby crusty gecko, look at that. Emerald scales has produced an animal, a crusty. Why is it a crusty? Of course, it's a crusty. The only thing I've ever bred is doobie roaches and mealworms. And then, ooh, out pops this crusty. That was thrown away. First impressions on baby boy or girl. It's cute, I'll admit. They're a little bit cuter when they're tiny. The problem is they get uglier as they grow up. If it stayed this small, I still don't want it. It's just, it's, if I go like, it'll probably die. It's very delicate, but I'll admit it's, it's a little cuter than some other animals. Yeah, he's crazy active and he seems very healthy. Apparently they did actually mate in secret when we weren't looking and we resulted in that. I'll go ahead and put the lid on him because I don't trust myself keeping him out and talking. In my personal opinion, I find breeding to be kind of boring and unnecessary. There's just, there's so many animals that exist that need new homes. So I don't plan on breeding more animals still, but now I can say that I at least got to see it even if I didn't do it directly. I get to experience this little dude growing up, at least for a little while, if he hangs out here. Uh, do you want to name him? I don't know. Why not? I probably won't use your name. You can leave one in the comments. If he gets listed on the site, he'll have that name. If he's kept, maybe I'll convince Alice to name him that. So that's our, our little dude, the Crested Gecko. And that is my first ever mistake I've made as a living human being. Really no point in this video. I just thought it was kind of interesting to share. Adding it to the resume, breeder. I don't care if I didn't do anything and if I threw it away. I am officially a reptile breeder. That's it for this video. I'm Alex. Thanks for watching. <laughs>